today I'm back with another paint pouring video. I'm going to attempt my first flip and drag. I've seen lots of people do it, I just haven't tried it yet. So I'm starting off with an 11 by 14 that already has a base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I'm going to be using some of this Apple Barrel Gloss Real Yellow a little bit of the metallic bright red, also this one's folk art, I mean. I have some Artist Loft Vermilion. This gold bar that I got at Target, it's also a metallic. Some Apple Barrel Barn Red. And I have a little bit of the Flow Acrylic, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Black if I need it. And sorry about the dog, I don't know why he's barking. And because I want cells, I'm going to be using some of this coconut milk hair serum. It's got oil in it and it creates cells. I am going to be adding that to my flip cup because I don't want to contaminate all the paints with uh, oils because I am going to use those for something else that I don't want oils in. So I have put a little bit of the hair oil in this little shot glass. All right, I'm gonna move this aside while I create my flip cup. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of white in the bottom. I don't know why, it just seems like that's what I should do. <laughs> then I'm going to add a drop of the oil. Can you see what I'm doing? I can't even tell. Then I'm just going to layer in all the colors. I'll do this in fast mode so it doesn't take forever. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is bring my canvas back over here. I don't know if you could see that on camera, but I totally spilled the orange everywhere, the vermilion. You see it? There we go. I'm gonna take this cup, I'm just gonna give it a little swirl, and flip it. I'm gonna let that sit for a couple of minutes for all the paint to settle. Now remember, I've never done this before, so if it doesn't turn out, I am just going to do a ribbon pour over the whole thing and call it a day. All right, so now I'm gonna puncture a hole in this to release the suction and cross my fingers that it works. Hmm, kinda, kind of. I think I was pushing on it too hard, but I might be able to salvage it a little. Let's do this. Let me just run the cup through it easily. Nope, I think that made it worse. Darn. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. Don't push so hard on the cup. Just let it glide. We go ahead and torch it and see what it looks like. See if it helps at all. This is definitely a fail, so I am going to ribbon pour over it. If all else fails, I'm starting with some white. Let's 
some yellow, it had the potential to be beautiful. Gold, metallic red, vermilion, let me get over here and get the red. And the black. Actually, it's starting to look really pretty. Okay, so I decided to just let it sit and kind of walk away for a minute. And I think I like it. I think. I think with a little more torching. What I thought was a fail actually turned out kind of pretty. So I'm going to run it over this corner. A little bit. Okay, so totally changed my mind. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, my camera stopped because my memory card was full, so I'm not quite sure what got filmed just then, but what I wanted to say was, don't give up on a painting. I almost poured over this, and now I think it is absolutely gorgeous. If you're thinking about pouring over something, walk away. Walk away, give it a few minutes, and come back and look again and think about it before you ruin it by pouring over it. I think this turned out gorgeous and I couldn't be happier with it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I'm going to take you down and give you a close up now. I apologize for the glare. The lights overhead are very glary. But look at this. It is so pretty. There's a little bit of cell action happening in there. Not much, but that's okay. I love all of this. My favorite part is coming up all of this this is all my favorite look at this it's so pretty i love the way it's feathering out on the edges and i'm so glad i didn't ruin it so let me know in the comment section if you like it or if you think i should have ribbon poured over it uh, i won't waste that paint i'll use it on a ribbon pour next so i'll come back in a day or two and show you what it looks like when it's dry and you can see if it's moved or anything crazy has happened with it. Here is the finished product. I apologize if you can hear the dishwasher in the background. So let's get a close up of this so you can see. Look at this. I can't believe I almost poured over this. It looks so cool. This is about two days after the pour. So it's not completely dry, but it's close. Look at that. I love all of this. And yeah, this is just proof that you need to wait. Give it a few seconds before you do something crazy like pouring over a beautiful painting. Also, I'm in the process, if you're only here for the art paintings, of slowly putting them all up on a new channel. They're going to stay here and they're going to be posted here first on weekends. But eventually, a copy of each of the videos will be uploaded over on Artful. Lee and I'll put the link in the description box below. That way if you're not interested in the other videos you can just watch the art videos over there. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.